Hi folks, this is Johnny Cancer, and welcome back to more of Let's Play Vice Project Doom. Anyway, we're at, um, level 9 now, and I believe this is the second to last part of the game. So we should be able to finish this up in uh, one or two more videos at the very most here. And uh, this is one of the harder sections of the game, so that's why I'm not doing an in-character narration. Because I think it just doesn't quite work to have Hart narrating things when he's constantly falling off of things and dying. That's just my opinion on that. But yeah, here we are. Um, I don't think the game ever actually really explains where the hell we are. <laughs> or what we're doing. Uh, not, not that it really needs to, I suppose, but it would be sort of nice. But uh, I believe it's supposed to be a research facility owned by the Beta Corporation. I think we're still in South America, although I'm not even really certain of that at this point in the game. Because there's really very little story uh, included in it. Uh, the instruction manual gives us only the uh, bare minimum of what we need to know about the main characters. And um, a lot of the uh, plot development and um, the character motivations that I have explained when I've been doing uh, the in-character narration as uh, Detective Hard and Damien Hawk are uh, primarily just uh, conjecture on my part because they're not... Uh, I mean, it's based on the plot of the game as much as I can make out what the plot is. But a lot of it's just me making things up to try and create a coherent storyline out of it. Although the, um, the bit about the aliens crash landing on the Earth is part of the actual game story. <clears throat> Although, um, they make kind of a weird choice and decide to tell you about this in the instruction manual. I'm not sure why, because it gives away a huge part of the game, and basically, uh, once you start talking about cloning, it really gives away a huge um, revelation that happens later in the game, or at least allows you to pretty much guess what's going to happen. Not that there aren't still some surprises. Certainly at the end of this level, there's a, a bit of a surprise. We finally figure out who that girl is that uh, Reese was trying to tell us about. But yeah, Reese is another character that, uh, you know, he's mentioned like, in one one line in the instruction manual mentions Reese, and then he shows up in the middle of the game, and that's uh, supposed to have some meaning for you, but uh, really, I don't even think you would know who it was if I hadn't told you. Ah, here we go. That didn't go too bad. So this is the uh, last boss of the game. Not the last boss of the game, the second to last boss of the game. Actually, not that hard, and I'll, uh, I'll show you why in a minute here. See, if you hit it at the right time, you can actually destroy those projectiles. And as long as you can remember the pattern, which is pretty simple, you're not going to take very much damage. So, a bit disappointing, considering it's the uh, second to last boss. But this is the um, GU Combat Suit. It was a weapon developed by the Beta Corporation. And, um, as you can see, fairly effective.
And you know what? We'll go ahead and play through this part. Shouldn't take too long. I have to admit that the driving scenes are not my favorite part of the game. I mean, they're not bad, but, uh... I just feel like... They could have given them a little more depth than they really do. Although this one's definitely a lot harder than the opening scene was. And, uh, I hope I'm talking loud enough to be heard over the soundtrack of the game. There we go. But yes, yes, so we... We get the startling revelation that the girl that Reese was talking about is Christy. Uh, who I'm sure you probably don't even remember because she only showed up at the very beginning of the game. But apparently she loves us. And we love her or something. And, uh, and also we see that uh, the Beta Corporation has a bunch of clones of Detective Hart lying around. Which is a little weird. Would give me some pause if I were to discover that suddenly. I don't know what this snake thing is. I, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm guessing now we are, uh, heading back to the city? I don't know. I don't, don't really know where we are here. If we're still in South America, or what, uh, what's going on? Uh, you know what? I just died. Great. Oh. Huh. That was nice of the game. But yeah, we'll get we'll get past this part and get to the last platforming area of the game. Ah, no, I'm not going to do this. We need to wait on this. Okay, folks. Well, that's it for this episode of Let's Play Vice Project Doom. And, um... I guess when we come back, you'll have Detective Heart taking you through the rest of the game. So, this is Johnny Cantor, signing off. Thanks for watching.